Hey guys, so as promised, epic replay of the week. So we have the T-54, and this replay is going to start off very, very bad and sloppy. Um, T-54 is actually a really, really good vehicle. Um, it's hard for some people to use because of the lack of gun depression and the expectation that rounds should bounce when they don't. The T-54 is not a, is, it, I'm going to go and say this, the T-54 is not a tank that consistently bounces shells. It's a tank that you can expect to get the occasional bounce in, the occasional odd ricochet, but not one that you can rely on its armor for. It's still a medium tank. However, what we're going to see here is I'm going to show you guys just how to make this thing dance. I am actually glad I finally ground through the T-44 and got this thing. I love this tank. It, it, it is quite enjoyable to play. As you can tell by the two marks of excellence on the side, I'm actually really decent in it and kind of enjoy it. Anyway, so we pull up here and I go, oh, well, shit, autoloader. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Do not want to get into a, a, a slugfest with an autoloader or a heavy. I drew out a shot, which is good for me, but I do not have the ability to take advantage right now. I think that auto loader is still loaded, so I'm going to go around here and oh look, he's emptying his clip into this poor comet. I think that's his entire clip. I'm going to come around here and put a round at him. Ah, uh, gun depression, why? Why do you tease me so? Ow, ow. Okay, I got a little cocky. Also, who pinned the front of my turret? T-32, however, has made the same mistake of being rather cocky. Ow! I'm getting shot in the ass and bouncing one off of my ass. He's now tracked. And I'm gonna keep him right there and just keep dumping rounds. Goodbye, T-32. It was nice knowing you. Hello, autoloader. Ow. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have a bad match. I'm dead. What? I'm alive? As I said, it's got enough armor to occasionally bounce a shell. It still doesn't make any sense that somebody put that big round through the front of my turret. I, I, this is one of the few times I can say I've never really had the turret penned like that. It does have really good turret armor. And come around while he's reloading and let him have it. Now, the, the advantage of this thing is also the six and a half second reload means that I can come around and shoot him repeatedly every single time he fires and this STI is doing an excellent job of drawing out his shots and goodbye M103 thing has an excellent DPM damage per minute and and it, it pays I mean it literally round after round from this thing goes out and most of the time pens you do have to carry some gold shells and that's because well 200 pen is just not enough to pen tier 10s consistently ah oh, I missed the type 59 is basically a, a unupgraded t54 which is why a lot of people have which is why it's a, a lot of people like it it's a t54 tier 8 with preferred matchmaking and unupgraded by the way you're dead um, this, this gun I've noticed has a lot of tendency that when you shoot somebody in the track it does track them I don't know why that is. Um, it's 100 millimeters. It's, it's not anything particularly powerful, but I do consistently see it track tanks, which I'm thankful for. I mean, I gotta admit, it's kind of nice to track somebody and then know that I'm gonna reload before they can fix it. And there's some bad driving by Fiora. Uh, God, at the start of this match, I am just like, I'm dumbing my way into stuff right now. Um, at least the start. Now, one of the things that I will admit is I perform very well under pressure. And the more pressure you put on me, the better I do. So, as you guys see this match progress, you see the enemy has actually started to catch the hit point pool and has caught up with the number of guns. 
We, we were 10 to 4 at one point, now it's 10 7. And we're only beating them by 1000 HP, which can quickly tip the other way if the t enemy team does it properly. And I'm trying to get shots on this on the same X30, but I'm just not. I just don't have them. And I don't want to go challenge him directly unless I have to, because I, I'm wondering if he has the 105 or if he's still using the 90. Guess I'm gonna have to go find out. And if you look, the enemy team has um, has crossed the hit point pool difference and tied the match. I also know that if my gun's out of the fight, then I'm not helping my team. Now I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna wait. His teeth, the Amex 3 is doing exactly what I expect, and slapped him in the back of the head. One of the things you have to constantly remember is prediction of players. And that is a very simple prediction of a player. He, he did exactly as I expected him to, and he paid for it. Now I'm going to try to reappear from another angle and shoot him. And apparently, he predicted me. Ow! I have 24 HP. Well, screw this. Screw this. I'm, I'm, my team is getting decimated. Holy crap, this is this is bad news. This is very bad news. I'm, I'm kind of playing around here. I don't want to quite run away and leave that AMX-30 behind me, but at the same time... Oh, yep, he's waiting for me. I bounced him. He bounced me. Um, I don't have another shot. I can't afford to sit out here. He's got a 90 mil. He's got a high penetration on that 90 mil, and I have nothing left. An HE shell will kill me. So I turn around and I start running. I need to reposition, I need to find somewhere else and, and hope for the best at this point. Um, my team has completely screwed up. It is now 4v1 with 1800 hit points to 24. Oh hello light tank. Goodbye light tank. Yeah, light tanks don't expect us to punch the front of a T-54. It doesn't happen. Ooh. Oh no, 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 fix the track, fix the track, fix the track, thank god for really good crews. Fire shot to scare him. Now, I'm running this way to start with because I'm spotted right now and I want to make him think I went this way, and then I turn. The moment he's unspotted is the moment I know I'm unspotted. So I turn and I head this way and I try to get positioned. He moved off cap, he's coming to get me. Is he going to come this way? No, he's just, he's either already passed here or he's not coming this way. My best bet, however, is to not go hunting him. Instead, it is to get positioned to ambush. And so I get set up with the maximum possible amount of angling on my tank, the minimum amount of exposure, and the ability to watch both from people crossing in front of me here where I'm pointed at right now and people coming from the left side of the air screen. And I sit here and I wait. Hi, Bang. Goodbye. I got a slight high roll. One of the few high rolls I've gotten all match. Took him out. I start to turn that way to make them think I went that way. Then I stop and turn around. Because again, once the six seconds is up, I'm unspotted again and I'm free to move anywhere without people being able to know where I'm going. The STI found that rather entertaining. By the way, the STI and the Waffle on the enemy team are new subscribers to the channel. So hey guys, you made it on YouTube. Holy crap, Waffle! He has a lot of hit points too. That's not good news for me. Run, 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 run. Now I'm unspotted. Make the turn. They're going to think I'm going this way. Make another turn. Again, repositioning in ways that the enemy is not suspecting. This AT-15, who's on cap, was expecting me to come out the other side. He starts to turn around, but it's too late. He's already a goner. And I head back as far away from the waffle as I possibly can. Now the STI suddenly has a lot of faith in me. I only have 24 hit points. I'm going to have to score a minimum of three direct hits to kill that waffle. I'm switching to high explosive because waffles don't have a lot of armor and can get penetrated by HE consistently, particularly if you hit them in the turret. And 
to be quite honest, I don't want to have to really aim. I just want to have to come around the corner and fire in his general direction and then get away before he can return the favor. So I'm repositioning as far across the map as possible. I need to make this waffle make a move. Don't cap. I know not to cap. He's got way too many hit points on me. He'll ambush me. I'll be done. And crap. Corpses are blocking the way I wanted to go. I wanted to slip between the cap and that building over there where the uh, IS Corp... SU-152 Corpse is. Excuse me. It's not an ISU. It's an SU-152. I wanted to slip between... I wanted to actually drive right through where his corpse is and head down that way. But it's blocked. The Waffle, however, has revealed his position. Now... There are three positions on the map he could be. He could be to the left of the church, to the right of the church, or where the AT-15 is. Those are the three best bets for his position in relation to the cap. And so I ease up around the corner here, ease up a little more, and there he is. And I start backing up, and I fire, and I, I got the full pin on the high explosive. Yes! knocked him down a notch. Now I start to come up here and I go and I want to make him think I'm gonna do it so I fire a shell and then I'm like nah. Now here is his pivotal mistake. You're gonna see this and I'm gonna to explain to you why it's a mistake. Now I've got a minute one minute to reset him again. So I, he's forcing me to act, which is a smart move. He's forcing me to come to him. He's forcing me to act. However, he hasn't moved. And I'm now beyond his view range. Cap reset. Blind shot. I plan another round in there. And I'm lit, which tells me he's relocated enough to be able to spot me now. Because the first shot he didn't spot me, second shot he did. But I've now bought myself time. Time to do what? Relocate again! I cannot emphasize that enough with fast tanks. Relocate, 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 relocate. Keep coming from unexpected angles. And I kept my turret pointed that way by holding down the right, right mouse button, but I kept it pointed that way in case he did come out after me to increase the probability he would hit the front of my turret and therefore bounce. It's a little trick. It saves you sometimes, um, and, and I definitely advise that people learn to use it. Now I'm coming up here, and I'm going to spot down here, and nothing. So he's either on the... There he is. And I'm sweating, and I'm sweating, and I go, he didn't spot me. I must have seen the tip of his gun. Another mistake. You do not leave the tip of your gun exposed past corners. It can be used as a spotting point for your tank, and now I know where he is, and he doesn't know where I am. And so I come up, and look at that, he's pointed away, and he takes the hit, and he's unable to return fire before I retreat back. Now I've bought myself another minute and a half. And I kind of make a show of, of staying here and, and faking him out for a second. And now I'm like, I uh, guess what I'm going to do. I've got a minute and a half. He's a one-shot now. He's come down from a thou almost a thousand HP to a one-shot for this T50, for my T54. I've had 24 hit points the whole time. It's just a matter of working. And the ISH right, it's time to kill him. I know he's probably relocated, so I take a quick spot here, and then I'm going in. There he is. And he's too late to do anything about it. He sees me, but I don't have to expose myself. That's the game. Outplayed four enemy tanks. Um, so let's move on, let's look at the stats, and then we will do the new end screen, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little session of your The Tank Girl Epic Match of the Week. Alright guys, so we have Spartan, because I did bounce two shots when I was at less than 10%. Defender, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Also I have all these other medals, but basically, yeah. <laughs> end of the match, 
hot, hardest pressure. If I make a single mistake, I die. That it can possibly be on me, and pull it out. Um, I also hope that I've shown you guys how to use this vehicle. I fired a couple too many um, heat rounds at that M103 to actually make a cre uh, make a profit, but I did score 4,000 experience points um, and blocked over a thousand points of damage. Half the shots that hit me bounced. Um, but seriously. That's just a lot of damage output by this tank. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this has shown you how to play the T-54 in a city fight. And I hope to see another epic match next week. So, in the meantime, this is Fiora the Tank Girl, officially signing off for now. I will see you guys in the next Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video by me, Fiora the Tank Girl. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit, click on the subscribe icon. Have a suggestion for the channel or have a question? Leave a comment. I promise I will try to answer it as soon as possible. If you want to help the channel grow, share this on Facebook or Twitter. Want to support the channel? Click on an ad. That is how YouTube pays its channels, is for your clicks on those ads. So those always help me. Or you can go to the patronage page. You, you can access this by clicking on the woman standing outside the IS-4 tank. If you want to check out more videos by Fiora, click on one of the thumbnails you see here or check the description below. Also check the description for contests I'm running. Lastly, if you want to be featured on Fiora's channel, send your replays to FiorTheTankGirl at gmail.com. Check the description below for more information on the email address if you want to know how to spell it. Please remember, I need your ammo wrecked, RNG moments, fires, hilarious outtakes, and other things you may find funny or pure luck on World of Tanks or other games you happen to play that involve tanks or, or war games. So when one of these happens, send it to me. Put the title of the email as Raw Tankery or RNG Moment. Anyway, this is Fiora the Tank Girl, officially signing off for right now, and I will see you in the next video.